Hey guys, I want to mention a word to you today that you are sick and tired of hearing about, and that word is the coronavirus. I know you're tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of thinking about it, talking about it. We're tired of trying to figure out what do we do as a church because of the coronavirus? How do we continue to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ that we can't even talk to or that we can't shake hands with or we can't give a hug to? So today I wanted to talk about this whole idea, uh, if you will, of virus. So we're going to talk about it a little bit more. Here we have Wuhan, China, way over here on the other side of the world. It is from Lake Havasu City, a distance of 6,937 miles until right here at our Sweetwater campus. That is a long way and that one microscopic virus has completely disrupted everything in Lake Havasu City and also everything around the whole world. The whole circumference of our globe is roughly 25,000 miles and that germ has disrupted everything. Are you tired of that? I know I am. But I also want to talk to you about another viral moment that happened 2,000 years ago that completely changed and impacted the world as well. If you have your Bible, look at Colossians chapter 1, beginning in verse uh, 6. Paul said this about the good news. He said, this same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Now, I hate comparing the message of the good news of Jesus to a virus, but they acted very similar. When the message of hope began to ring out 2,000 years ago, it changed and impacted everybody's lives. This same good news impacted my life in 1991 when I became a follower of Jesus. This same good news perhaps has impacted your life as well. And I want to tell you, I believe that this uh, virus, this coronavirus, uh, right now with all the social distancing, I believe firmly that the promise of Romans 8:28 still rings true. That the things that have happened to us the things that are bad, the things that are rough are actually going to work out for good. I want to invite you to a journey with us, if you would, an online digital experience. You have friends and family that perhaps you've been inviting to church for a long time and they still won't walk through the door. We're, we're laid back and we're relaxed and we have modern music and we have everything that we feel like is appealing. But for some reason, that friend, that family member still has not walked into the doors of our church. But guess what they might do? They might go to CalvaryLHC.com this weekend and they might watch a worship service with you at five o'clock while you're in your house and they're in their house. And they may join you in a virtual online experience. They're he'll hear and experience the same worship. They're hear, they'll hear and experience the same message. And you have an opportunity to invite them to join us online. In fact, if you have friends and family all over the world, they could join us online, calvarylhc.com and, and enjoy an incredible worship experience because we're going to talk about Jesus and we're going to share the hope that we have in Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to use your email distribution list for work and send them a link that just says, hey, join me for worship at calvarylhc.com. You have an opportunity to, when you see it pop up in your Facebook feed this weekend, to share it, uh, to like it, to share it, to promote it. We're not asking people to promote Calvary. That's the last thing that we want to go viral. What we want to go viral is the same message that went viral 2,000 years ago. We want hope to impact this world. People are living in fear, they're living with questions, and they need to experience the hope that Jesus can bring them. So would you join us in this journey to, to help make the message, the Word of God, continue to go viral, to reach people that would never enter the doors of a church? 
like us on Facebook, share this message on on, uh, Facebook and social media, shoot out emails to your friends and family, shoot it out as a text message to friends and family and invite people to join us either at five o'clock on Saturday night, Sunday morning at eight o'clock, Sunday morning at 9.30 or Sunday morning at 11. And let's step back and see what God does with those invitations. Thanks. I pray that you're staying safe and I pray that you're loving on those kids and loving on those family members and checking in on your neighbors. Have a great week.